Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After David Woolley, Christine Brown shares another date in the works. When Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, first met David Woolley, she wasn't planning to get married. What transpired following their meeting that caused her to reconsider? After divorcing Cody Brown, Janelle Brown expressed how much she felt Christine was moving too quickly. Christine has now shared her story of meeting David and her initial goals. It most certainly wasn't a second committed relationship. It turns out that after meeting David, she had already scheduled another date. When it comes to a marriage failing, various people have different desires. While some prefer to continue dating casually, others are looking for a new long-term relationship. Some people prefer to live life to the fullest and stay unmarried for a while. This may vary depending on the specifics of the divorce as well as the form of the union. Christine entered the dating scene with the intention of keeping things informal. Her children also want this for her. Before making a decision, they reportedly wanted her to try a variety of ice cream flavors, according to E. Online. In an attempt to locate a new love partner, she joined a dating website catering to single parents and employed a matchmaker. David Woolley was the person she met on the dating site. Christine had another date scheduled for the evening they went out. What transpired on the previous date? With David, it appears that a match was made. This dude embodies everything that Cody does not. Although Christine didn't specifically search for her ex-husband's opposite, that's exactly what she discovered. In terms of appearance, he is entirely distinct. Christine accepted her rebellious nature. Brown knew this was the ice cream flavor she wanted as soon as she saw David. She even had a cheesy quip about her heart melting in her head. It's quite lovely. That did mean she had to call off her scheduled second date for that evening. It wasn't like either of them owed the other anything, so it was just the proper thing to do. At least she wasn't a ghost and had cancelled. But there was still one more break she had to make. Back to the matchmaker it was. Christine had to tell her matchmaker that she was done using her services over the phone. Christine was able to attract a partner on her own. She called into being someone who is both attracted to her and a skilled communicator. On TLC, a Sister Wives special will include Christine and David's engagement and wedding. On Sunday, January 7th, Sister Wives, Christine and David's wedding will air. The two-part special is well worth the wait to witness Christine's real love story. Sister Wives, what happened to David Woolley's first wife after her death? Although Christine Brown and David Woolley are a happy married couple, the new spouse of the Sister Wives star has been married before. On October 7, 2023, the couple got married in Moab, Utah, and by the summer of 2023, David had established himself as a major character in the world of Sister Wives. Her former sister wives, Robin and Mary Brown, as well as her ex-husband, Cody Brown, were not invited even though she was surrounded by friends and relatives. The tensions around Robin and Cody's relationship have not decreased, despite the crisis surrounding Christine and David's marriage simmering. It was fortunate for David and Christine to meet one other. When Christine and her new husband started conversing, he confessed, he thought she was a scammer because he couldn't believe a well-known reality TV personality would be having a conversation with an ordinary guy. But she was real, and they fell in love right away. Surprisingly, during their second date, David informed Christine Cody that she was a dumb asterisk asterisk asterisk, which could have sealed the deal on their quickly developing love. Though they were a good match, Christine wasn't David's first wife. How did his first marriage turn out? Margaret Lucille Sulin Woolley and David were wed for more than 20 years in the past. David disclosed to In Touch Weekly, I have eight kids. Two are unmarried and six are married. Ten grandchildren are mine. In addition, my extended family consists of my children and grandchildren in California, whom I still regard as my own. He is accustomed to having a big family and has many children and grandchildren around, even though he does not come from a polygamous background. Similarly, Aspen, Michael T., Pei Don, Gwendolyn, and Isabel are among Christine and Cody's six children. Regretfully, Margaret, David's ex-wife, suffered from depression. It was found that Margaret had killed herself on June 20, 2012. 
David disclosed to InTouch Weekly that he attempted to get in touch with his ex-wife all night long while she was staying at a motel. After she died, medications, wine, and a suicide note were found all around her. Margaret had nothing but positive things to say about David in the note, but she did write kind things for her kids. Unknown are further specifics about the note, but David had to deal with his wife's untimely death for more than 10 years prior to being married to Christine. Soon after Margaret's passing, he found himself a single father. Christine's enthusiasm for life made David fall in love. Christine, in contrast to Cody, fell in love with David because she thought he valued and understood her. David will make a great husband and life partner for Christine even though he has no interest in being a sister-wives participant. She deserves to be with someone like David after Cody treated her in this manner for years. The bright side is that Christine and David were able to discover each other, despite the unbearably terrible loss of his prior wife. Are Mormons the Sister Wives? Sister Wives was immediately linked to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints when it initially began broadcasting. The LDS Church is most commonly associated with the Mormon faith. But after witnessing Cody Brown lose three wives in his polygamist marriage, several members of the Brown family are questioning whether they are still Mormons at all. What is known about the religious beliefs of the Brown family is as follows. Many people assume that Cody Brown's polygamist marriage and the cast of sister wives are examples of Mormon beliefs. That is not precisely accurate, though. Cody belongs to the LDS sect known as the Apostolic United Brethren, AUB, along with his family. Not all Mormons, nevertheless, hold the same views on polygamy as the AUB.AS a liberal branch of the LDS Church, the AUB supports members having sex even if they don't want to have children. They do, however, have a belief in polygamy and have something in common with the majority of Mormon churches. They think big families are important. Cody adapted his previous statement that love should be multiplied to his family. In all, Cody Brown's four sister wives have produced 18 children and five grandchildren. He claimed to have been called by a divine calling to practice polygamy, and he brought up his children to follow the AUB religious cult. He is unsure of the number of his children who have adhered to his values, nevertheless. Although he indicated that the majority of his children are Christians, he gave them the freedom to choose their own religion and God, via In Touch Weekly. As previously stated, Cody believed that starting a family with multiple marriages and raising a large family was part of his divine calling. Over the past two years, that family has torn apart, which has caused Cody to occasionally second-guess his decisions. Kristen Decker, the sister of Christine Brown, stated that she believes Cody made himself believe in polygamy in order to start his enormous family. According to her, the majority of males who initiate multiple marriage families feel compelled to do so. I observed that in multiple siblings, and it truly devastated them to not succeed, she remarked. She continued by saying that since all but one of Cody's marriages have failed, there's a high likelihood he feels inadequate. In Utah, where more than half of the population is Mormon.